Welcome back. We are once again in need of some credit coupons for the game of the rich. And we have a quest here with Desambre. Can anyone help me? Please, I'm begging you, help this poor soul. Are you alright? Oh, thank goodness. Finally, some kind people. You see, it's my son's birthday tomorrow, and I'd like to send him a letter. But to get a letter sent out of the fortress in Meripede, you have to queue up here. I don't have the time for that. No, well, why not? There was a major safety incident in the production zone, so I have to get there immediately. I was hoping someone could stand in line for me, but... I mean, I'm British. Queuing is what we do. I know this is what I deserve, but my son is innocent. Why should he have to pay for my crimes, too? All I want is to send him a letter so he knows his father hasn't forgotten his birthday and loves him very much, but I can't even do that. Poor guy, we'll help him, won't we, Twitter Cut? Like I said, queuing's what we do. You will? I don't have much in the way of money on me right now, but I'll be sure to pay you a fair price for the trouble based on the market average. The market average, I mean, that's kind of vague there, mate. Yes, I've lined up for the people before, uh, so I know the going rate. It's all right, don't sweat it. We're happy to help. Thank you so much. You're great people. Oh, I forgot to ask about your names. I'm Desambre, and you? Paimon is Paimon, and he's Twitker. Red Adventure Buddies. Well, it's good to meet you, Paimon, Twitker. Here's the letter. Just hand it to Lutz over there. Your lifesavers. Hm. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Not. It's not that long of a queue, really, is it? Desambre leaves in a hurry after handing over the letter. A long time passes before you and Paimon notice that the short queue hasn't moved an inch. Oh, you could be here a while. Suddenly, your attention is drawn to a conversation between two people behind you. Oh, the queue is getting longer. Yeah, this is taking forever, and the air is so stuffy here, I can barely breathe. First time queuing here, huh, kid? Welcome to the infamous slowest queue in the Fortress of Merope. Surprised you've never heard of it. Lutz has a tendency to slow things down by embellishing the letters as he types them out. Can't help himself. Then, of course, we have to check through them all over again to make sure we're happy with it. Blah, blah, blah. Are you kidding me? God, I'm going weak at the knees. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. If you pass out, you only have to start all over again tomorrow. It's happened before, you know. One guy's on his third visit and hasn't managed to send his letter. Jeez. I mean, there's queuing and then there's this. Third visit? Jeez. Sucks to be him. <laughs> you bet it does. Takes a special kind of bad luck to fail three times in a row. He's a legend in the Meripede queuing community. We call him Unlucky Desambre. <laughs> Wait a minute, I recognize that name. If you're interested, I can tell you more about him. To be honest, I'm not really in the mood. Oh, come on, cheer up. Anyway, it all started the day before yesterday. It was a sweltering hot day that afternoon. I said I'm not- uh, whatever, carry on. Sombra came to me that afternoon, saying he had to line up to send a letter the following day. He asked me if I could cover his shift as a porter in the coupon cafeteria. I was going to say no, because it sounded like more trouble than it was worth, but he gave me the old puppy eyes and said how he missed the chance the last time because he overslept and how his son was still waiting for his letter. So I took pity on him and agreed to help him out. Guess what I saw when I got off work yesterday? I saw him looking for someone else to cover his work, and the excuse was still the same. He needed to send a letter. Wait a minute. So I went over and asked him what happened. He said he'd learned from his mistakes and woke up early in the morning to queue up, but he still didn't manage to send the letter due to unforeseen complications. Don't tell me he joined the wrong line. No, no, but that's almost as funny as what actually happened. He skipped breakfast to get in line early, but by the afternoon he was running on empty and starting to lose it. He tried to push through, but suddenly everything went black, and there was a loud thud. He was out cold, and by the time he regained consciousness, they were closed for the day. <laughs> what a loser. Oh, wait, did I? I don't think I had anything to eat either. Crumbs, you had crumbs, alright. And now my stomach's starting to growl. Did they say Mr. Tassandra? Papa didn't realise that we'd lined up for... Good thing we always have food with us for emergencies. 
Yep, and Paimon too. Mm, that... That didn't very nice. Okay, but Paimon can't put a finger on why. Yeah, that didn't very nice. Queuing for a long time gets tedious and tiring. You start to forget your purpose here. Yeah. Only the occasional background noise and chatter seems to remind you that despite how it feels, time is indeed moving. I'm feeling lightheaded. Man, I really hope I, I don't have to do this all over again tomorrow. Ain't this. You need something in your stomach. Next time, remember to bring food and water when you go on a long queue. Thank you. But it's crazy that you're talking about this queue like it's a marathon. <laughs> Listen up, maggot. This is the most brutal, godforsaken slice of hell in the whole fortress of Metapede. It makes Prankration look like a walk in the park. But, but it's just... Every cure worth their salt knows to plan properly before committing to join the line. Some people bring a stool for rest breaks, and some of the more hardcore folks have even been known to camp outside the entrance the night before. But it's just a queue. This is no ordinary queue, Rocky. This is war. Everyone is expected to give 110%, even unlucky Desambra has multiple contingency plans. We're his current one. Sadly, the best laid plans are no match for fate. On my way back from the production zone early, I saw him leaving the line and heading in the direction of the coupon cafeteria. So I asked him, Hey, aren't you supposed to be in the queue? And do you know what his answer was? He got so fixated on queuing that he forgot the most important thing of all. He didn't bring his letter with him. So he had to leave and come back. I really have to meet this guy. Sounds like quite a character. What? He forgot his letter? Man, De Sombra's luck really is terrible. Didn't he give us his letter? Right, he handed it right to us. Paimon is getting pretty confused. Let's take a peek at it. To my love, my dearest Monsieur Nouvellet. What? I know not how many days and nights have passed since our previous trial. My dreams have been filled with longing for your face. So kind, so handsome. It excites me, agitates me to know that I shall be leaving this place and that I shall see you once more. As I said, I will do anything, anything to see you again. And I can wait no longer. Indeed, not one moment more for you to castigate me, your humble defendant. And this time I promise, I swear, you will remember my name. Your admirer, White Lily. Okay. Uh, uh, none of this information adds up. I'll have to ask him about it later. It's almost our turn, Twitka. Shall we hand in the letter? As your torturous ordeal approaches the end, you reassure yourself that this has all been worth it. But your questions remain unanswered. The chapter has closed, but the story continues. Leave the mayor room. Okay. What about the people who were behind us? Where'd they go? Here's me, phew, I made it just in time. Why are you so out of breath? Just finished up at the abandoned production zone and ran all the way here. So it's done, the letter's been sent? Great. It was signed White Lily. Oh, so that's the name she gave herself. Alright, to tell you the truth, a young woman asked me to send this letter for her. She looked really sick to me, so I agreed. And I didn't even take a single mortar. I am paying for your compensation out of my own pocket. Huh? Looking at the contents of the letter, she does seem very sick indeed. What? <laughs> Seriously? Can't believe that was an option. I guess I must have grabbed the wrong letter on my way out. Fiddlesticks. The birthday letter will never get there in time now. Wait, really? So you finally got your letter posted, but it was the wrong one? Wow. You're really living up to your nickname, Desambra. Fate is a cruel mistress. <sighs> Uh, I'd love to stay and chat, but I gotta rush home and get the right letter now. Hope there's still time. Here's your compensation. Pleasure queuing business with you. Now to post that blasted letter to my son. See you! But, 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 why do you have to leave? Paimon still has a ton of questions for him. Never mind, at least we got some coupons. <laughs> Is this all? It's not even one meal's worth. Guess we're going hungry tonight. No, Paimon's so hungry. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did we get enough coupons though for the quest we're currently doing? Nope. 
means we're going to have to look for another quest, which we will see about in the next part. Maybe there's a follow-up to that somewhere. Maybe, maybe we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can find that, because that would be interesting to see if there's more with that. Yeah. We'll see you in the next part, anyway. Ta-da for now.